What is up guys? Welcome to video two of this series. In the last video, we saw how easy it was to create products, to set their tags and to integrate them into our website. This is extremely powerful and it's what's going to allow us to later set flows that respond to people's actions based on what they're interested in and what they have purchased. In this video, we're going to get to those flows soon, but first we're going to take a look at our contact section and see how we could import contacts into the system or create new ones straight from it. So we're going to do that by going first to our contact section and we're going to go ahead and uh, click the import button right here. We're going to click download template and that's going to bring up a file like this. And in this file, we're going to have a first name, last name, email, and phone number. Now you're going to copy your existing list from wherever you export it or wherever you have it. And you're going to paste in all the first names here, all the last names, email or phone number, whatever it is that you have. And you're going to save it and close it. Now, step two, you're going to choose that file. So you're going to navigate here and you're going to choose that template that you downloaded. And step three is segmenting. So maybe this list that you're importing, is everyone who bought a specific product or everyone who's part of a specific opt-in that you had generated. And so you're going to set that tag right here. You're going to set it right here. And every single person that comes in is going to have that tag that will later be able to use to either send them mass emails or start them on an automating flow. Step four is to go ahead and confirm that you own the list and then you're free to go ahead and press upload. Now, once you pre press upload, it would take a couple of minutes and then your contacts will be ahead. Uh, go ahead and be ready right here for you to start manipulating, to start calculating the revenue, the conversions and uh, everything else that this product has to offer. So uh, next, we're going to go to flows to do that. We're going to click on our flow section right here. And to better explain how to use this flow section, we're going to go ahead and create one right here just based off of uh, an imaginary scenario. So once we hit new flow, we're brought to this screen here with a white area right here where we're going to actually create it. Now on this right panel, we have three different sections. We have the trigger section, the action section, and the condition section. Every flow must begin with a trigger. So we're going to go ahead and for this example, we're going to use the tag trigger. So we're going to grab the tag trigger and we're going to bring it onto the canvas and we're going to go ahead and click on it to configure it. Now I want this trigger to be executed for everyone that has the tag opt in. Maybe this is everyone that I just imported in my contacts, or maybe it's just someone who has a tag opt in because they came in through a specific landing page or something of the sort. And I want to add all contacts with these tags and any tagged in the future. And I also want to select the option, remove contacts from all other flows, because I don't want any conflicting marketing messages to the same exact person. So now our tag trigger is ready. Contacts who fall within the realm of that trigger will start here and they will keep going with every step afterwards. So let's say that when someone comes in with the opt in tag trigger, I want to go ahead and I want to send them a piece of content because that's what I promised them. So what I would do is I would grab an email step right here, an email action, and I would bring it onto the canvas. Then I would click on it to configure it. So up here, I would select the from name. So, uh, this is going to be predefined to your profiles from name and your email. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to choose a subject. So I'm going to put here is what I promised. And then I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go into select an existing email or I'm going to create a new one or manage that existing email. So in this example, I'm going to create a new one. When you hit new email, you get brought to this drag and drop email builder with basically unlimited possibilities. I mean, there are so many options for you to choose from here that it's crazy the the quality of email that you're able to build. I mean, you're able you start off with this very basic template, but you're able to, to make it uh, more sophisticated very quickly. I mean, these are the default options. But for example, if you hit all right here, you saw how this bar just got really small. That's because you have so many more options. And because there are a lot of options as well, because you're watching this, we're going to be giving you guys 10 free templates that have been proven by beta testers and, and, and basically templates that have shown the most amount of opens and the most amount of click rates. You're going to get them available for you to use instantly after watching these videos. So you're going to drag in whatever it is that you want to drag in. You're going to go ahead and you could edit all the text in here very easily. I mean, this is extremely user friendly. 
you're going to be able to press this button right here on the bottom left and include different uh, properties of the user. So for example, contact first name. So this would actually replace this with the first name of whoever's in the flow. So this will allow you to create personalized emails. For example, let's say you want to put their first name here. You would click first name. We miss you. And it would replace that with their name. So it would be like Joaquin, we miss you. And the user would be like, damn, this guy knows my name. I'm going to go buy his stuff, right? So after we're done creating this template, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit save. And after we hit save, we see that now this email is configured. So they're going to come into the tag trigger and then we're going to send them an email. Now, the next step that we want to do is we want to wait a while, right? So we're going to come right here to our actions and we're going to click on add delay. We're going to click and drag add delay to the canvas. And we're going to go ahead and, and connect it from send email. We're going to click on it to configure it. And I think we're going to wait two days with this one. So we're going to hit two days and then we're going to come back here. Now, after two days, what I want to do is I want to check the email status. I want to see did this person even open the email that I just sent them. So to do that, I'm going to go to this condition right here, check email status. I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to configure it. And I'm basically going to choose that same template that I just created right now. I'm going to, I'm going to leave the opened. I don't want to check clicked yet. I just want to check open. And now I'm able to do things based on whether they opened it or whether they clicked it. So I'm going to send them an email if they did not even open the email. And I'm going to tell them, hey, you might have missed my email. Why did you miss my email? And I'm going to I'm going to create a new one or I'm going to manage an existing one. I'm going to tell them this. And they're more than likely going to open it this time just because of that heading. I mean, they're like, how the hell did this guy know I missed his email? And so the next thing that I want to do is I want to send an email to the people that didn't miss it. And I want to deliver more value to them. This is not really the subject, but I want to deliver more value. So I'm going to send them more information. I'm trying to build these people's trust. I need to get them to trust me so that then when I pitch them a product, they'll go ahead and purchase it. So this is all automated right here. They come in through the opt-in, you send them an email, you wait two days, you check the email status, you do something. And then let's say that what we want to do after that is we want to wait uh, two days, or actually we want to, let's, let's put the example at one day. We want to wait one day for both of these people. And then what we want to do after that is we want to pitch them a product. So we're going to send this email and we're going to pitch them a product and we could choose from one of these templates right here. Let's see, let's do like the left hand card pitch, for example, I guess we'll, we'll do that one as an example. And let's let's see how it looks. So it looks like this. Hi, first name. We noticed you left some things in your car. We could tell them, hey, hi, first name. Uh, you might like this or something uh, by now. Uh, and basically a, a, an, a, the ability for them to be able to see the product. If we don't like this, we could very easily drag in different things. And then we click save. Right. Now, after pitching them this product, this is where it gets interesting. Let's say that now we add a delay and we're going to wait two days to see if this person did anything. Now, this this pitch should have had the ability for them to go to your website. There should have been a link in there somewhere for them to go to your website. And because of the integration that we did earlier on, we're going to know now what products this person or these people are interested in. And now we could do this by going through our contact section and finding the people with the tags that say that they're interested, or we could do it through here and, and check with a condition. So we could go ahead and drag in the product condition, the product status, I'm sorry. And we could click on it to configure it and we could select here the product that we pitched for them in this previous one and we could check if they're interested. Now check out how cool this is. So we check if they're interested, if they're, if they're interested, they come out of here. If they're not, they come out of here. Now what I want to do is I want to drag in another product status. So let's say that they're interested. Now I'm going to check if they purchased it. So, okay, you're interested. Did you purchase it? If you did, then I'm going to send them an email and be like, thank you or something. Maybe I'll try to upsell them on another product or if they didn't. Right. So so if they're right here right now in this email, then they're interested, but they have not purchased. So I'm going to be like, hey, I know you're interested in this product. What is up? Why aren't you buying it? Or maybe even give them an offer to get them to purchase that product. And then if they're here then maybe I want to pitch them another product because they're not even interested. They didn't even go to that page. They don't care about that product, right? So I'll send them another one. 
And so that right there is a very basic but powerful example of what you're able to create with this flow feature. I mean, we, we set this up and it will literally stay running forever. People come in through your landing page that, that you assign this tag to, which we'll, go, which we'll get into in the next video. It kind of gets into how do we integrate a landing page to a flow. And so let's we're, we're going to see in our next video how to create a landing page that gets people started on this flow right here. So they start in with a tag. Uh, opt in. We send them an email. We wait a couple days. We check that they open it. If they did, we send them more value. If they didn't, we we recognize that they didn't, and we tell them, "Hey, what's up?" And then we wait a day. After waiting a day, we pitch them a product. We wait two days and we check if they're interested. Are you interested in that product? Which is Kate, which is which we're able to do because of that integration that we previously did. If they are interested. Did they purchase it? If they did, we upsell. If they did not, then, hey, I know you're interested. Why aren't you buying this? Uh, what can I do to make you um, buy this? Is there anything that's missing in the offer? Do, do you need a discount? You don't literally ask them if you need a discount. Maybe you just offer it to them. Or if they're not even interested, you just send them another product or try and pitch them something or give them more information to build more trust. I mean, this is extremely powerful. And in our next video, we're going to check out how to create a landing page that's going to connect to this flow.